What's up, dudes? It's Alfredo Torres hosting a brand new Alfredo Torres debacle right here in the Cinema Cafe over at Independence Boulevard, where what we're doing today is we are here for the premiere of a brand new movie called Conspiracy Nation. This is rock and roll, exactly. A lot of bands in the Tidewater area. There's a lot of good bands. The music. He went out and got hip hop artists from the seven cities to contribute for the soundtrack. We're gonna be here at the premiere and also at the after party. So, Paul, grab the camera, come with me. We're gonna go meet some people, do some schmoozing, do some drinking, do some partying. You know what I'm saying? We got people representing every single city in the seven cities and everything has been beautiful. So I was just out there daydreaming. I got paper, I got I got hater, so I got and I'm here with my man Fly Gang. Adam. What's up? What's up? Out of Port Town. Uh, out of P Town, excuse me. Oh, I'm going to say Portsmouth and P Town. Got it, all, got it all jumbled up. He is one of the performers who's going to be performing at the after party, but he is also, more importantly, for what we're doing, he was on the soundtrack to Conspiracy Nation. Now, let me ask you something. First of all, as a local hip hop artist trying to make it out here, how are you finding people being uh, accepting of your music? Are you finding it hard de dealing with the crowds out there, or, or when people hear you, are, are they jumping to it? Oh yeah, like right now, like I got a major buzz. You know what I'm saying? The streets, I'm like the people's champ right now. So I definitely got a buzz. The people they riding with me, and I'm gonna keep doing it for the streets. The streets, I gotcha, gotcha. All right, now how'd you get involved with this movie? And, 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 and more importantly, once you found out about the movie, what made you say that this is a good vehicle to get my music out to people? Well, it came to me, you know what I'm saying? Because I do a lot of recording in uh, Virginia Co op Studios. Right. And Chris, he done his video for my man Forte Ellis, and I happened to be a feature inside that video. So he was important the project to us, and he had a movie going on. So there was like, you know what I'm saying? There was doing like a little casting call. And Ben, I had a lot, of, a lot of music out at the time. He wanted to have a fresh face surprise that everybody was familiar with. So I said, I'd, I'd definitely do that. And like the, the, the message and the, the, the progress that the, mu the music is making, it, it goes hand in hand with the movie. And like right now, it's a good scene, it's a good look. It's basically, it's just the major vehicle for the Virginia movie right now. I feed the streets when I'm on my crime. Crime rate increase, extort the van, crash test the good ones, but keep the block jumping up on the hood. I protect the serve, I feed the streets when I'm on my job. Crime rate increase. Yeah, I 
first one there. I know who do it. What the fuck? Christopher and Tara Baya, they are the everything for the movie. <laughs> Produced it, directed it, wrote it, started it. Uh, they were catering, they were the best boy, they, they did the whole thing. Um, but most importantly, at least it's, 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 what, what we're doing is they went out, got the local talent that provided the soundtrack for this movie. First of all, I want to say hello and, and thank you for, for inviting us here. Thank you. Thank um, you Tell us a little bit about the movie. Let's, let's start with the movie. Well, you know, I'm, I'm the talkative yeah, talk. one of the movie, of the <laughs> duo here. So, uh, yeah, it's like a um, a mock documentary. All right, kind of like a 2020 segment or a, uh, like a VH1's behind the music type of thing. Each true Hollywood story type right, thing. Right, right. And it, uh, it looks, feels, smells, sounds really authentic. It's fooling a lot of people, but it's all fiction. It's all a story I wrote, and we're doing it like that because we're trying to raise an awareness and raise money to do the feature film version okay. of this subject. The film itself, the story, has a lot to do with the local hip hop scene. Okay. Um, now, how hard was it for you to choose what local hip hop artists you were going to use? Yeah, real good question. I did a lot of research. I linked up with a uh, with a lady named Miss Blends, Blendsville Global. She owns, uh, runs an amazing local company. She's really in tune to everybody in the street who's doing it. And when I say doing it, people who are grinding, people who are really out there, you know, passing out their flyers, making their CDs, shopping their CDs, taking trips out of the seven cities. Right, right. You know, guys who are really doing it because the game has changed so drastically. The, the music industry, you, where no one's mailing and shopping demos anymore. That's dead, you know. Right. I mean, if you shop a demo, and it, chances are it's never going to get right. Heard. It's going to go with a stack of other demos. Exactly, right. exactly. So I, I, I did research with Miss Blends, Blendsville Global. I also, you know, did the, the classic MySpace things and the Twitters and the Facebook. I just kind of researched to see who was really making a lot of noise in their city. Right. And that's how the names came out. What do you know about the local hip hop scene? It's, it's, it's stronger than a lot of people think, honestly. Um, the only problem is there's not a lot of venues that kind of cater and try to help out with that, that situation, you know what I mean? Right. So a lot of people are doing it on the, street, on the street level, but it's hard to get that big break. That's why a lot of people, the names you know, like the Pharrell, the Timberlands, they actually had to leave Virginia to get known. If you go to any of these other venues that are around here, a lot of times they don't want to cater, you know, to that. Right. To that, because for one reason or another, I can't even call it. Maybe it's not a money maker, and they're all greedy. Right. Maybe it's not their thing that they care about even trying to help. Them, you know what right. I mean? But luckily, there are people around here trying to do that. Guys, I hope that you looked at this episode, I know it's not my normal thing, but I hope you looked at it with a, with, a, with an open mind, realizing that local music isn't just about rock, it's also hip hop, R&B, we're going to be bringing you more of this stuff throughout the year, every time something new uh, that a local hip hop artist or local R&B artist is out, we're going to try to be there, bring you some of their music, expand your horizons, try to expand theirs by getting them to, to, to check out the show and, and, and see the rock side of the house, but thank you guys. I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. Hope, hopefully you guys did. That wraps it up. Until next week, remember, go out and check out one local show this week because you never know what you're going to get turned on to. I'll be back next week. Until then, take care. God bless it to my children. Don't forget Daddy loves you. Later, dudes! <laughs>